This video shows how to set up the online booker to allow your customers to make booking requests from your website and Facebook page. Go to Account Settings, Online Bookings. The online booker is a pop-up screen that can be added to your website with this Check Availability button. You can choose a color for the button. Copy this piece of code to your website and the online booker is ready to use. To see what it looks like, press the check availability button here and you'll be asked to sign in as if you are one of your customers. First, enter an email address and you'll be prompted to create a password. The email address is the unique identifier for the online booker. So if the email address entered matches an email address in your customer database, that customer will be asked to sign in. If a new email address is entered, the system will consider this a new customer and create a new account accordingly. If this happens, a star will appear next to the customer's name on your dashboard to indicate a new customer. If you do not want new customers to be able to register online, you can tick the Only Allow Registered Users to Book Online tick box. This means anyone entering a new email address will not be able to submit an online booking request. Once signed in, you will see that boarding and daycare are automatically available. If you want appointments to appear here as well, tick the Show Appointment module on the Online Booker box. You may prefer to control the times of each appointment yourself. There is the option of hiding the appointment clock from your customers by selecting the Hide Times in the Appointment module tick box here. This means when you receive a booking that includes an appointment, the system will automatically set it for 9 a.m. and you can update the time before sending out the booking confirmation. You may also have some appointments that you don't want to show on the online booker. To hide any appointment, go to Account Settings, Services and Costs, Appointments. Press the Edit button next to the appointment you want to hide and untick the Show on Online Booker box. After your customer has submitted an online booking request, they will receive an email saying their booking is being reviewed, and you will receive an email notifying you that a booking has been made online. When you log into your account, you will see a pending booking waiting for you. Pending bookings are also listed under this icon. To accept the booking, open it, check you are happy with the details and run allocation, make any changes required, and press accept. Your customer will automatically be sent an email to say their booking has been accepted, but you might also want to email the booking confirmation to your customer so you know they have a record of the booking details. If you don't want to accept the booking, click Decline and your customer will be sent an email to say their booking has been declined. If you do not have any availability, your customer can choose to add their booking request to your waiting list by pressing the Add to Waiting List button at the bottom of the page. You will be notified by email if this happens. To change the wording for the different emails your customers receive, go to Account Settings, Online Bookings, Translation Online Booking Email, make any updates, and press Save. You can prevent any of these emails being automatically sent by deleting all wording in each text field for any of the emails and pressing save. For example, if you don't want to receive notifications of every booking that has been submitted, go to the email for owner section and delete the wording in both the subject line and intro text box. Press save and you will no longer receive these emails. You can also change all the wording on the online booker. Add your own language or wording into each field and press save. There may be certain fields that are required before your customer can submit a booking. You can set this up under select mandatory fields. Select the fields that are essential and your customer will be prompted to complete them before being able to send a booking request. You also have the option of hiding all of the unticked fields from the online booking page by selecting this option here. If you want to limit the times given to your customers for checking their pets in and out, go to Account Settings, Default Time Settings, Time Windows. You can set timeframes here. 
Press save and only these time windows will be offered on the online booker. The default times will automatically be assumed for every booking, but if you want your customers to actively choose their own arrival and departure times, select the time option in the mandatory field section and they will be forced to choose a time. A link to your online booker will automatically be added to the customer's profile page unless you choose to disable this option by unticking the add link to online booker from account settings, customer communications, profile page. You can add this URL to your website to open the online booking page and the Facebook option provides simple setup instructions to add the booking button to your Facebook page. Please note, you need to have a business page and not just a personal Facebook account to do this.